Hi guys, welcome to the channel, this is Jerry. In this video, I'll show you all the safety features that's available on this MG ZS EV. This is a new generation for MG New Zealand and MG Australia. Um, so this is the facelift version with the bigger battery, bigger range and more safety technologies available. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you all the um, information from the beginning all the way to the last and I'll show you how to control that, how to enable these things, what they, what they do, uh, a full tutorial about the, how the MG safety systems and um, if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment down below and if you're looking to purchase one of these vehicles in New Zealand especially around Auckland make sure you contact me my name is Jerry I work for Abbott I'll leave my, all my email address and numbers down below and um, if you're interested in more MG tutorial, including the ZSEV, including all the other MG vehicles, make sure you subscribe. I'll make sure we'll create a playlist so you can keep, keep watching all the videos about the MG ZSEV or any other MG vehicles. And I'll leave all the, also leave all the timestamps down below, so that will help you to go through different features. Uh, you can skip forward for different chapters. And um, really, really hope this video is helpful for you to make your decision or help you to drive the MGZ CV in the future. And First, so if you do want to go through anything or change anything for the MG infotainment system, you always make sure you're on the home screen and switch left. You can see the vehicle over here. So going to the vehicle setting, we have the first one. It's called the land assistance. So the land assistance can be switched on and switched off over the screen. So if we switch it off, as you can see on the dashboard, there's nothing showing, but I will switch it on over here. Now you can see on the top right, we have a yellow sign over there, and that means this function is ready to engage. So what that means is when you, on the second line, you can select either alert or emergency line keeping assistance. So I'll select alert and let you know how that works. So if you switch to alert, the orange light, the, the sorry, the yellow light will come on. When you drive over 60 kilometers per hour on motorway, the vehicle using its sensor at the front to see your line marking on either on the left or on the right. And if we are in this screen, you can see that on the left and right at the moment gray sign. When you are actually engaging the line keeping, when you, the vehicle sees the line marking um, over 60 k kilometers per hour. It will, it will show a sort of bright line, I think it's yellow, sorry, the green light. That means the vehicle sees the line marking and this will go green light instead as well. And if you are likely to drift out your line marking, the vehicle will give you beeping sound on, and warning on the dashboard to tell you that you are over your line marking. So that's how that works with the alert. And if we do change that to emergency line keeping assistance, so just over there, now you can see the signal does change to another symbol. What that means is the vehicle will give you a different sort of assistance. So it'll give you a warning at the same time if you drift out your landmarking. And before you drift out your landmarking, either on the left or on the right, the vehicle will give you a very small turn to keep you in the right sense to keep to keep you out going out the lane. So just so you know, give you a small warning, stuff, things like that. Um, just before um, but if your hands are like for example you are you're turning land like very slowly but you are holding the land steering really well uh, instead the vehicle only give you a warning because the vehicle thinks you're you're going to drift the land anyway it cannot stop you or cannot just give you a sharp turn and stuff like that but if the vehicle thinks you are you're just dr doing a normal drive but you're like you're getting really close to either left or right. The vehicle give you a very small turn to keep in this uh, sort of to keep you in the land basically before you drifting out to the other vehicles, things like that. And personally, I don't really like this particular system. Unfortunately, it's not as fancy as your land land keeping assistance, which I can show you later how that works. Uh, so occasionally it give you a small run, running a funny bounce and stuff like that uh, another thing you may need to know is if you use the indicator to indicate you're going to left and right you're totally fine the vehicle will not give you one random warning or give you a turn and stuff like that um, but yeah particular uh, information for me i don't really quite like this land keeping assistance it's not really land keeping actually like a land sort of uh, departure assistance so it only going to pull you just before you go for your landmarking uh, so it's not going to keep you in the right center um, to keep you in the right center i will show you so we will talk about that in the traffic jam assist so i will show you that later so bear with me we'll go through that so on the third line we have moderate so this is moderate for the alert sensitivity you can change it to low medium or high this is up to you and you can change the audible alert to be on and off so that means when you do the land keeping or do the land alert 
the vehicle will give you audible alert through the speakers otherwise if you no audible alert it will only give you a small warning on the dashboard vibration reminder that's on your steering as well so if you're actually holding it just keep turning left and you are over the line marking the vehicle will give you a vibration on the steering you can definitely feel that again if you don't want it you can cancel that by the way next one is traffic jam assist before i talk about it i'll show you the adaptive cruise control feature so that's most important than the traffic jam assist so on the adaptive cruise control we have this lever over here so you can tell the lever there are four sort of different positions you can place the lever so the, all the way forward is off and slightly forward it's cancel and backwards is on and all the way back is resume so what we want to do at the moment it's all the way off position so when it's in off position there's no orange light or anything like that on the dashboard and if we pull it back towards the steering just to this position this is on position by the way so this is already backwards now you can see the orange light over there that means that function is ready to engage we switch to ready position but it still stays at orange or yellow that means the function is ready and then once you start driving what you want to do is if you are happy to go into adaptive cruise control or cruise control you can simply push the set button over here you can see the set button so simply as long as you drive over i think 10 kilometers per hour you can just simply push set that means the vehicle will set your speed on the top and let's say you are driving 50 the car will drive on 50 if there's no traffic in front of you um, that means your set speed it will be on 50 and to change set speed you go up or down to change the speed so if you're on 50 going up by one touch going to 55 so it will always round their numbers to whatever times five so 55 60 even if you are war at 54 going up it only go to 55. if you do want to switch to one by one in terms of speed you have to pull and hold and then it will go one by one instead so that means the vehicle will go 50 to 51 52 53 55 so it goes really fast as we and they all push down and hold going to one by one so that's how to change your set speed and then once you're on cruise control you can also adjust your your distance between you and the front vehicle because this vehicle has the uh, advanced so adaptive cruise control so what you need to do is twist the dial forward or backwards you can see on the top right you get the indicator over there so we get different bars in between the the bars means your distance between you and front vehicle so at the moment is three so i'm gonna twist the dial just over here as you can see the change number two or number one you can see the yellow sign that changes or forward to back to number three so default setting whenever you switch on the vehicle whenever you jump in the vehicle initially when you set up cruise control it's always going to stay on number three that's the longest distance between you and the front vehicle what that means is if you drive 50 k's on the road if you sorry if your cruise control is on 50 k's on the road the road is clear it's driving on 50 but if the vehicle in front of you is traveling less than 50 k's your vehicle will automatically slow you down for for that sort of assistance uh, automatically without you applying the brake or, uh, or cancel the cruise control and then if you change that speed sign to three that means it's going to keep you at the three sort of speed difference and but if you keep it to one it's going to be one distance so that changes between your speed and acceleration and stuff like that so most of the time one one distance will keep you a two seconds difference where two will be three second difference and three will be four second difference but this is really up to your speed so in terms of distance change whatever you like you can change it whenever you like as well so that's how to twist the dial forward or backwards to change the distance and more things about the cruise control about canceling the cruise control so if you are if you set your cruise control and the cruise control is engaging this will show a green light instead of yellow light that means the cruise control is on it's ready to engage and you just it's 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 on basically the car will drive it for you and then if you do want to cancel it as you can see over here a very light touch forward allow you to cancel the cruise control or a very light touch on the brake pad then the uh, pedal sorry brake pedal uh, that, will, um, that will basically help you to cancel the cruise control uh, just momentarily uh, when you cancel the cruise control on the dashboard on the top if you have your pre previous cruise control set it let's say 50 it's going to show 50 over there but with the yellow sign that means the cruise control is in uh, is cancelled but it's ready to engage again if you wish to engage again so to engage again either press the set button or set back to your current driving speed or 
pull it back to resume position. Now set back to your previous set cruise control, let's, let's say 50. So that means you can press resume, that allows you to go back to 50 cruise control. So that's how the cruise control works. And another small thing about the cruise control, or cool thing about the cruise control is, uh, when you are following someone and the, the vehicle in front of you eventually pull to a complete stop, your vehicle will gently pull, pull you to a complete stop as well. And when you come to a complete stop, what the vehicle do is, um, if the vehicle in front of you moves within three seconds and your, your vehicle will ultimately resume back to cruise control itself without you actually tapping the brake or accelerator so the vehicle will resume for you but if the vehicle in front of you resume back to cruise control after staying for more than after sorry the vehicle in front of you moves after three seconds after you come to a complete stop so it stays longer than three seconds your vehicle will not automatically go instead on the dashboard it'll show you a small sign that says either push your pedal or resume back to cruise control to resume back to cruise control so how that works is if you stay longer than three seconds you just press the accelerator just to give a small tap the vehicle will resume back to cruise control following the front vehicle then you can release the pedal you don't need to control that again the vehicle will control your speed or simply use this to tap back this resume resume part that means the vehicle will resume back to cruise control from a complete stop start so that's how that works in traffic with this cruise control standard cruise control and now we're finally back to the traffic jam assistant systems so if you're on cruise control and you wish to engage a traffic jam assistant systems what you need to do is pull the lever back to the steering twice so we are we at for example we're off position put it back to on position then pull it back twice and as we can see another signal comes up on the top right just by the land departure that's traffic assist so that's called the traffic jam assistance systems so you can see a few cars symbol over there again this is yellow light that means the function is ready to engage and it's pretty much the same tech, same logic as setting your cruise control changing your speed and uh, setting your uh, distance between the front vehicle um, what that works is uh, additional on top of the land departure or whatever you have or even if you don't switch on the land departure your when your uh, traffic jam assist is on the vehicle give you permanent sort of steering assistance even if you are at low speed so basically when you're low speed or high speed the vehicle keep in the right center of the landmarking and uh, by the sensor pick up the either the front vehicle or the front landmarking for you on the left and right so this is a much better system compared to the land departure or land keeping system personally i would rather have this than the i would personally prefer having this than the land departure warning system inbuilt so that helps you with the, just pulling the back and uh, whenever you set the cruise control that will be green light obviously instead of yellow and uh, if you do want to cancel it um, you, you will need to push the brake to cancel uh, but when you resume back in it will memorize your uh, the traffic jam assist otherwise you push all the way back can completely cancel and pull it back for cruise control now resume back to online cruise control so if you do want to engage that again you always have to pull it back twice again just a quick tap so that allows you to go into the traffic jam assist so that's how that works and next one we have the forward collision system so that forward collision system helps you just before you crash into something on someone it does help you just um, give you emergency braking and emergency alert before you crash into something on someone you can disable it uh, but it will not memorize your dis uh, sort of safety system by the way so even if you confirm that that's completely cancelled you can see on the top dash you can have the forward collision system that's off a warning light on the dash but when you switch on the vehicle next time when you switch off or switch on it will automatically comes back on again as this is a very important safety feature uh, i don't think the vehicle wants you to turn it off and second one we get assist mode so that allows you to change to just alert or aeb aeb is your automatic emer autonomous emergency braking or automatic emergency braking whatever that means uh, if you do want to change alert you have to confirm as well what that means is before you crash into something or someone the vehicle will only give you warning without applying the brake at all so that's not something we recommend personally so we want to change back to alert plus aeb and sensitivity you can change to low moderate or high wherever you like this will help you to to you know and um, to road safety road, road safety in low speed next one we also have a pedestrian automatic emergency braking so that's engaged as well 
what that means is someone crossing in front of you um, without you looking left and right or you actually see a vehicle parked on the left but didn't see a person coming behind the vehicle and the car will automatically detect, detect that and do again do emergency braking if necessary uh, or at least you give you a warning sound at the front so again if you don't want it you can engage disengage that to confirm that means the pedestrian auto emergency braking is off so you can see the yellow light on the top um, it gives you a very strong warning so I do wish, we do wish to, to keep this on it's something quite cool to keep on next one we have the rear driving assistance so this is available on the MG ZSCV Essence in New Zealand version and this is not available on the MG ZSCV Excite by the way so if you don't have that skip this forward um, so we have the system engaged if you don't want it you can switch it off so it'll completely switch off otherwise press it on second one we have the blind spot detection so basically on your wind mirror you can see this small triangle or not triangle small indicator on the on this part of the mirror either on the left and on the right so what that means is when you're driving along the vehicle is coming behind you on left and right at your blind spot the vehicle the indicator the yellow light will come on on the mirror so that give you a warning before you go into left and right changing lens stuff like that so in emergency situation this is definitely very helpful uh, lane change assistance so what that means is if your blind spot is on and the vehicle is actually coming behind you the wind mirror lights it up and you are still using the indicator to go left for example in this instance that light will flash to tell you that you actually have someone behind you just be extra careful or double check the situation before you actually do the maneuvering Next one, rear cross traffic alert. So that means um, when you are reverse out the car park and behind you, you can't see much out of it, um, but there are two big cars on the side of you. And then if there's your vehicle traveling behind you, the, this will give you a very harsh warning on the wind mirror and also on the rear so sort the of camera system so that means you actually have someone crossing behind you just when you reverse you don't want to reverse too fast uh, into someone or into an upcoming traffic information like that you can disengage it if you don't want it otherwise it's recommended to leave it on and next one we have the speed assist systems so press the speed assist so at the first we have the speed warning that's that's pressed on what that means is the dashboard you can notice this small sign over there so the vehicle when you're traveling when you're driving on the road the vehicle sensor will pick up the speed signs on the road so whether the speed sign 60 or 80 it will display on the top dashboard to let you know that your speed sign in this particular street or this particular area is 60 um, and if you do go over that speed limit the the numbers in that will just give you a very minor uh, sort of very gentle flash to tell you that you're over the speed limit but if you have been over the speed limit for two minutes it won't give you warning so it only flash i think five times or three times something like that to give you a very gentle warning uh, apart from that it doesn't do anything else but this is very handy obviously most people would prefer to have this on and next one we get speed control mode so at the moment that's off so it doesn't do anything i'll show you how to control that in menu so press menu and now we can see this orange light or yellow light again comes on that means the speed the system mode is ready in manual condition we're gonna go back to the cruise control setting so you can only use the speed control mode when the cruise control is pushed all the way off by the way so if i pull this back to the to the cruise control setting you can see that speed limit information is gone instead the cruise control light comes on and here we switch it off so that's off setting you have to go back to the intelligent or menu and then it doesn't go back at all so what you want to do is push this all the way if you do wish to use menu or intelligent speed menu mode you can see this automatically change to menu again and the orange light the yellow light comes on back on again so that means when we start driving on the road we can use the same set button to change your speed uh, limit information or speed limit sort of control and uh, if i tap set or to go up or down you can change you can see that change 35 I will do 40, 50, for example, going, keep going up again. And this is still yellow light. That means the function is ready, but it's not yet engaged. What we want to do is push the set button on the side, and then it's changed to green light. So what that green light means, uh, when you are driving on the road, when I start driving on the road right now, the vehicle will not allow me to go over 50 kilometers per hour. So that helps me. I know this area is going to be 50 limit. I'm not going to break 50k. Otherwise, I can always change it whenever I can. Just go up 
and you can see that changed to 60. I'll keep going up to 100 if I like, or we'll keep going down to 30 if you like. So the lowest speed limit information, speed limit control you can set is 30k, by the way. And uh, yeah, once the yellow light, once the green light is engaged, that's on. So the car basically does not allow you to go over that speed limit, even if you press your pedal, uh, but it will, uh, it will allow you to temporarily go over that speed if you put your foot all the way down. So pu push that all the way, then the vehicle will give, allow you to temporarily overtake someone just in case, then resume back again if you release your brake, uh, the accelerator pedal. So that's how to use the uh, speed limit. And then if you do want to cancel it, temporarily disengage, just simply press the set button, it goes back to yellow. That means that function is ready but not engaged at all for you for the time being. Then next one we have the intelligent. So if you go back to intelligent, this is a little bit more advanced. So you can see the yellow sun is still over there, but underneath we have the intelligent speed assist instead. So this is a completely feature compared to the um, what do you call it? the um, the manual assistance. So basically the vehicle pick up your lamp, uh, so that your speed information on the top whether it's 60, whether it's 100, and then once it's picked up successfully, this will become green. That means the vehicle will limit your throttle response, limit your speed to either 80 or 100, whatever is on display over there. And that means when you press the pedal, the car does not allow you to go for that certain speed. And again, just like when you are in manual speed, uh, manual speed control, you can also override it by pushing the foot all the way down on the pedal, floor it, but uh, only temporarily. And when you release the pedal, the car will bring you back to a lower speed without you, uh, without allowing you to go over that speed limit again. So this is yellow, that means it's ready. When it's green, that means it's on the road, it's pick up the speed sound for you. So personally, I would be okay with menu because I can set it up, but when it's unintelligent, it kind of gets a little bit gimmicky. This is really up to you. You can choose whatever you like. Otherwise, switch it off. It's up to you. And last one will be the towing mode. So in in the new MG ZV, it will be a bit able to tow. Um, you can get the tow bar up to 500 kilograms of towing. Um, so you can enable that. Basically, when your tow bar is engaged, you can see the tow sort of um, towing trailer information is on the top. So that will disable your um, parking distance control, which is your parking sensors at the back. You can still have your cameras uh, or disable your rear driving assistance. Uh, so that's your rear traffic cross alert, stuff like that, because they may pick up your trailer at the back and give you all the sorts of warning. So that don't have that. So when we put on reverse, you can see the parking sensor is not going to be engaged, not going to be give, give you sound, but you can still have the 360 camera instead. So that's all the safety technologies available on the MGZ CV. And uh, again, if you're looking to purchase one from in Auckland, um, you can contact me. My name is Jerry at Volk 4 Abbott. I'll leave my, all my details down below. And if you're interested in more MG tutorial videos, including the EV, including all the other vehicles, make sure you subscribe and like the video. I'll leave, I'll upload more videos in the future. And uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next video.